You may have heard the term conjugate before, but what does it actually mean? If we cut past the fancy scientific talk, the term conjugate really just means the opposite. So let's look at our acid and water example again. We've written this as a one-way reaction. However, this will actually be a two-way reaction because it's slightly reversible. In the forward reaction, the HA is obviously the proton donor and the H2O is the proton acceptor. But in the reverse reaction, H3O plus is the proton donor and A minus is the proton acceptor. So there are two acids and two bases because there are two proton donors and two proton acceptors. We can think of HA and A- as something called a conjugate pair. We can also think of H2O and H3O plus as a second conjugate pair. A conjugate pair is really a combination of an acid and base, which differ only in one hydrogen ion, and can hence switch between being an acid or a base, depending on whether they have the hydrogen ion or not. So each conjugate pair obviously contains an acid and a base. We can apply the ideas of conjugate acids and bases to real-life chemicals. The conjugate base will always have one fewer H plus than the acid, and the conjugate acid will always have one more H plus than the base. H2O can play the role of base or acid because it's neutral. Every time an acid reacts and loses its hydrogen ion, it becomes its conjugate base. When it gains a hydrogen ion, it reverts back into the conjugate acid again. Here are a few examples of conjugate acid and base pairs. You may be familiar seeing them on the opposite sides of an acid-base reaction. 